Hi, my name is Christer Jansson. I work as a professor of respiratory medicine at Uppsala University in Uppsala in Sweden. I'm going to present some data looking at real-world evidence for the risk of pneumonia in COPD patients treated with ics laba combinations. This long-term observational match cohort study indicates that there is an intra-class difference between fixed inhaled corticosteroid and long-acting beta-2 agonist combinations with regard to the risk of pneumonia and pneumonia-related events in the treatment of patients with COPD. COPD is an important and growing cause of morbidity and mortality worldwide. Combination treatment with ICS and LABA are known to reduce exacerbations and improve quality of life in patients with severe COPD. However, one problem has been that this kind of treatment is, has been associated with an increased risk of pneumonias. This increased risk has mainly been shown for ics laba combinations that include fluticasone and selmeterol, while less is known about other ics laba combinations. The aim of this study was to compare budesonide formoterol with fluticasone selmeterol with respect to pneumonias and pneumonia-related mortality. This study covered a catchment area of approximately 800,000 inhabitants. The study included 21,361 patients diagnosed with CPD. Index data for the study population was the first ics laba collection following CPD diagnosis. In all, 9,893 patients were treated with a fixed ics laba combination. Primary care medical records data was linked to mandatory national Swedish hospital drug and causes of death registry data. Propensity score matching, pairwise, one-to-one, -one, was used to reduce concerns related to a non-random assignment of patients to treatment. A baseline period of two years for patient characterization and confounder identification before index data was used for matching, including numerous variables. This slide shows some of the 31 variables used in the matching. The matching resulted in two similar patient cohorts, 2,034 pairs of patients covering more than 19,000 patient years. The main result was that treatment with fluticasone selmeterol was related to a 73% higher risk of pneumonia, with 11 events per 100 patient years compared to 6.4 events per 100 patient years for the budesonide formoterol treatment group. Moreover, the fluticasone selmeterol treatment group was associated with 74% higher pneumonia-related hospital admissions than the budesonide group, with 7.4 hospitalizations per 100 patient years in the fluticasone treatment group, compared to 4.3 hospitalizations in the budesonide treatment group. This graph shows that the number of pneumonia events showed a uniform pattern versus time for all pneumonias and for hospitalized pneumonias and was independent of time after index date. 67% of all pneumonias were pneumonias diagnosed at hospitals where x-ray is a routine. This figure shows an analysis of the yearly rate of pneumonias when the study population was divided in four quartiles of disease burden assessed by propensity score at baseline. The study shows that pneumonia incidence increased in both treatment groups with increasing disease burden. The difference in pneumonia rates between the treatment groups was however larger in patients with a higher disease burden. There was no statistical difference in all cause mortality between the two treatment groups. However, during follow-up, 149 matched patients 52 patients in the budesonide formoterol cohort and 97 patients in the fluticasone selmeterol cohort died with pneumonia listed as cause of death. This corresponded to a 67% increase in pneumonia-related mortality with fluticasone selmeterol versus budesonide formoterol. Division of the cohort who died with pneumonia as quartiles based on disease burden showed both an increasing number of pneumonia-related deaths with increasing disease burden and also a higher pneumonia-related mortality for fluticasone selmeterol in all groups. To summarize, this study indicates that there is an intra-class difference between fixed ics laba combinations with regard to risk of pneumonia and pneumonia-related events in the treatment of patients with COPD. 
CPD patients treated with fluticasone selmeterol were significantly more likely to experience pneumonia and had a higher pneumonia-related mortality than patients treated with budesonide formoterol.